Our final presentation of the evening comes from <coughs> Fernando Avila Rencore um, with, his, with his technology, EndoDrone. Hi, my name is Fernando Avila Rencoret. I'm a PhD student at the Department of Surgery and Cancer and the Hamlin Center for Robotic Surgery here at Imperial. Today, I'm going to tell you how we are trying to detect gastrointestinal cancers by mapping the gut using endoscopic robotic drones. So what is a moonshot? As Georgia already told us, a moonshot is when we try to solve a huge problem that affects millions of people with a radical solution while using breakthrough technology. How moonshots are born? For my experience, I think one trick is to try to surround yourself by people smarter than you. That's, that's what I have been doing in the last year here at Imperial while being supervised by these amazing scientists, Dr. Dan Elson, a physicist specialist in surgical imaging and biophotonics, and Dr. George Mailonas, a robotics engineer. So what's the huge problem that we're trying to solve? Gastrointestinal cancers are silent killers. They develop slowly without giving symptoms until it's too late. That's why every year, worldwide, 2.8 million people are diagnosed with gastrointestinal cancers, including esophagus, stomach, and bowel. And these cancers together kill 1 point million every year. The earlier we detect these cancers, the better are the chances of survival for, for our patients. And actually, we have a chance to detect them early because most of these cancers develop from pre-cancer and evolve slowly into cancer. This means good news. For example, for bowel cancer, if we catch the pre-cancer lesions, that means that we stop them becoming cancer. And for the ones that become cancer, if we are able to stop them in the early stages, our patients have much better chance of survival as 90% of them are still alive after five years. The problem, the bad news, is that we are not catching enough cancers at early stages at, as just 40% of our patients are diagnosed in this stage. Colonoscopy is the best current available tool that allows us to detect, diagnose, and treat uh, bowel cancer. Colonoscopy is performed by a specialist clinician, the endoscopist. He uses a flexible tube with a camera attached to his tip. Colonoscopy saves lives. When used as a part of a screening prog uh, uh, program, it allows us to reduce bowel cancer deaths by 70%. Most of the pre-cancer lesions in the colon, they look like these. They are protruding masses that, that come into the tube like mushrooms. They are relatively easy to spot. The problem is that there are some small flat lesions that are really hard to spot, even for the most, most experienced endoscopists. That's why we're still missing up to 22% of them. This means that at least 22% of the patients that went through a colonoscopy, they are still at risk of developing cancer. Our current medical technology needs to be improved so we can save more lives and save money to our health systems. Just in the UK, 1.6 billion pounds are spent every year treating bowel cancer. So how do we tackle this problem? Uh, asking endoscopists to try to spot these small flat lesions is like asking a general to spot an enemy that is wearing camouflage. In the last decades, researchers and industry proposed some tricks to try to highlight these lesions. This week, we're, this, uh, we call this technique red flagging, and it's like the analog of using uh, night vision Googles. So the current scenario is that we are asking the endoscopies, our general, to use these night vision Googles, but we are doing something that is not really smart. We're asking him to walk the entire battlefield by his own, looking for the bad guys. What if we provide the general with multiple drones that are equipped with night vision cameras so we can 
scan the entire battlefield and provide a highlighted map spotting where the bad guys are. Using this wild idea, we propose a radical solution. We propose an endoscopic robotic drone that is able to scan the gut from the inside and generate a map that highlights where the precancer and cancer lesions are. This device will work as an accessory for any conventional endoscope available at the hospitals around the world. How do we envision this use? After inserting the colonoscope, as, as usual, it's like the red tubing, we, the, we ask the endoscopist to mount our device on top of the endoscope and slide it along the colon <laughs> using, using, using the endoscope as a monorail. So we, we, don't have a, we don't need to deal like guiding where the robot needs to go. It just slides along the endoscope until reaching the second. And there, we deploy multiple optical sensors that scan the colon from the inside. While doing that, we move this robot and we are able to generate a map that highlights where the precancer lesions are so the endoscopist can treat them during the same procedure. Using this idea, uh, we built a prototype. Uh, we designed it, uh, an optical sensor that has eight probes that are deployed from the inside until they reach the, the internal surface of the, of the organ. We explored different ways to rotate this device just by pulling tendons, also ways to softly touch the, the surface, the internal surface of the organ, and deploy the probes using just tendons, the same way our fingers are flexed by our muscles in the arms. We selected the, most, the simplest mechanisms and we integrated them in a prototype device. Oh. So our device has three functions. We are able to deploy the probes. We can rotate it and scan. And we can collapse the device just by releasing the tension. Using this prototype, we performed a, an experimental validation as a proof of concept where we try to reconstruct the internal surface of a tubular target simulating the colon. So using this device and adding some computer vision, we were able to reconstruct the internal surface of, the, of a paper target that we use. That's the final reconstruction. So as you see, it's a really wild idea. and Our prototype is really simple. And as we want to reach clinical translation, we have a lot of work to do. And we need to go from these hard, sturdy robotic components to these softer <laughs> and smaller robotic components that save space, are safer, and are, look much more friendlier to the patients and the clinicians. <laughs> so in this way, if we are able to conquer them, uh, we will be able to, to, to generate a user interface like this. This is our dream, uh, a user interface that synthesizes all the, only the clinical relevant information. So in summary, our moonshot, there is a huge problem. We are not catching enough precancer lesions in the gut. We offer a radical solution. Why not use endo endoscopic drones that scan the entire gut millimeter by millimeter and provide a map to the clinician highlighting where the precancer lesions are. Using a technological breakthrough, we propose a device that slides along any conventional endoscope and scans the gut using multiple cheap optical sensors. This work will not be possible with the help of a lot of people, starting from my family, my wife, that she's, uh, she's not here, she's taking care of the baby. Uh, she's, he's uh, uh, too small to come. So also, again, thanks to my two advisors, the, my friends and colleagues from the Biophotonics Lab, especially Mr. Jan Yulin, the amazing engineers from the Hamlin Center, Mr. Ah, sorry, 
Dr. Stair and Patel, expert endoscopist from St. Mary's Hospital here in London, and our, our funding bodies, the European Research Council, and the Chilean government that uh, provided me scholarships for the master's and PhD. Thank you very much. <laughs>